Well, right, hello you Lay. My name is Mobile Five Six Nine Nine. Welcome back to another video. Uh, video today, we're gonna be doing like an anime, uh, pretty much an anime Blu-ray and ma uh, manga update. I went to Walmart and Vintage Stock the other day. I spent about sixty-five dollars at Vintage Stock, and I spent about a hundred dollars at Walmart this morning on anime stuff. Go figure for me. Uh, I don't know why I got into anime recently when I started watching High School DxD, and then I started watching other stuff as well. And, uh, I don't know, I literally despised anime when I was, like, in high school, and people asked me if I watched anime, and I was like, I don't watch that garbage and all that, so, as I've gotten older, I kind of have the appreciation to it now, so, um, yeah, so, anyway, I got a couple of things, I got one, two, three, four Blu-rays, and one, two, three, one, two, three manga books, and, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it, since it's 10, 1040 in the uh, morning. I gotta be at work in, in less than uh, an hour and a half, so I'm gonna try to get this uploaded before I get ready to go. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing I got is um, this. Season 1 of the anime show, maybe called uh, Bleach. I don't know why that sticker's on there like that. So yeah. Uh, season 1 of uh, Bleach. Uh, somebody told me to, uh, uh, they recommended this show. I have no idea what it's about. Something about um, see ghosts and stuff like that as well, but I've never, I've heard of the anime here and there, I know they used to play it on Adult Swim on Toonami and all that stuff, uh, but I've never sat through the show, I have no idea what it's about, it's a season one, somebody told me to recommend, they recommended it, so I picked it up at Walmart and I thought, hey, why not, so, um, I haven't opened any of these new ones yet, so just bear with me, so you got the slip cover and you got that as well. And there's, I think, a couple of this. You got one through 27 episodes. You got English. I hope they come. Yeah. So, it's a really cool. Somebody, like I said, somebody down at uh, the burger joint here in town uh, uh, recommended this. So, they said, let's, I recommend Bleach. And I thought, okay, I'll find it if I come around. I know they had some adventure stuff, but I had no idea where to start. But this says season one. So, we're just going to go ahead and go with this. So, that is season one of Bleach. Um, next up. Hear me out, because I was a little bit iffy about trying to get this, but I decided I talked myself into it, and of course, I'm talking about Complete First Series Season of Sailor Moon. Hear me out. I watched the Nostalgia Critic episode of Sailor Moon a couple of times, and this was one of the animes that I was going to stay away from after watching that episode, and like, kind of, the show's about a 14-year-old girl who um, is... Um, Becomes super, he comes a super power, then they got Sailor Mars, Sailor Venus, Sailor Moon, stuff like that. This is an anime that came from, obviously Japan, this was from like 1990, early 1990s, so really, really old. And um, this episode, six discs, episodes one through 46, six discs, uh, has, uh, this disc is like a thousand minutes, so I don't know if I'm going to sit there, but I sat through the entire Nostalgia Critic episode. And, um, yeah, it was just, like, really, uh, the, really, the, so, um, he was just talking about trying to do, like, Age of Consent and stuff like this. I'm like, okay, people did not like the review. I had, I don't mind it too much, but, like, I was trying to stay away from this anime. And they're like, is there any animation you're staying away from? And, of course, I was really, really iffy about trying to get Sailor Moon, but a lot of people who have anime collections have Sailor Moon on there. I've seen maybe one or two episodes of Sailor Moon. And I thought, hey, I'll just buy it just to say, hey, I got Sailor Moon in my collection. So, but yeah, there's Sailor Moon. So, yeah. Next up we have, this is a really cool case. This is really cool. Of course, I'm talking about the Pokemon Indigo League uh, Season 1. This is the very first season of Pokemon. And I hope it is. And uh, I have a couple of um, VHSs of Pokemon. I think they're in storage or somewhere. But this is the very first season of Pokemon. Uh, dot the uh, Veronica Taylor who plays at the very first English voice actor for ja Ash Jash for Ash was at the Northwest Arkansas Comic Con. I did not meet her face to face, but I did attend her panel on Sunday. I went to I met only met three. I met Charles Martinet, John Heater, and Billy West. I was literally if I was debating if I want to go meet Veronica Taylor. I said if I don't get to meet her, I'll go to her panel. I did go to her panel. I asked her a question. Her and her daughter were there. Uh, but I did not meet her at her booth personally. I did not get a picture with her. I did not get an autograph with her. I was a little bit disappointed. Like, I should have got that because she seemed like a nice lady. Uh, her daughter seemed like a very nice lady as well. But what can you do? I was, well, like, literally, I was, hers was Sunday at, like, 1 o'clock. And there was, that's her, that, it was, like, three hours up to the convention. I'm, like, I'm ready to get back home. I was so exhausted from that. I, I was up for, like, from 4 a.m. that day. And I left here and went to Rogers. And then I stayed at the embassy suite. I only got a couple hours of sleep, and then I went 
to the convention from like 11 to 2, and I'm like, dude, I'm tired. I'm going home. So, but anyway, you got that. Spine in the back. Season 1, runtime is something. 101 through 52 episodes, 6 Blu-ray discs. I do not know if this comes with the first movie. I had the first movie on VH, Pokemon, the first movie on VHS, so that's that. So, next up we got, last of these, I got season three, season two, part two of My Hero Academia. I have, I have season one and two, a part one, I think, maybe, I don't know, but I was debating about if I wanted to get season three and four of My Hero Academia. The guy that won were like, no, I'll get what I want to get right now, and all that, so, but, uh. Yeah, but like I got that as well, uh, this as well. So there's that, it's fine, and all that. Still not open and all that. So there's that. And the last three I got the manga set. I don't know if this is the complete. I don't know if this is the front of the book set, but I got book one of um, My Hero Academia, book one, and then I got book two of My Hero Academia, and I got manga number three. These are new, I think. And I thought, you know, let's just get that. Uh, there's a couple of manga series I want to get, but they're just so expensive and all that. So. So, but yeah, so that's really cool. I got the light novels and all that from High School DxD. I got a couple of manga books that's from High. I got a couple more coming in a few days and all that too. So that's interesting. And then that's pretty much it for this collection. You got that. I'm sure you guys one more time. There's book three of My Hero Academia. Book two. Book one. Season two, part two of My Hero Academia. Pokemon in the Gino League Season 1, um, Sailor Moon Season 1, and Bleach Season 1. Oh yeah, I wanted to mention, um, the questions, uh, when I met Veronica Taylor, not met her, but when I went to her panel, I asked her, I told her that the creator of Pokemon was on the spectrum, and I asked her if she ever met, uh, the creator of Pokemon, Sacito Jajiri, uh, or she ever worked with anybody who was on the spectrum. She said she has never met the creator of Pokemon, and she has never, um, uh, more with anybody on the spectrum, but she believes that people on the spectrum have done great things and all that as well. And I asked her, asked her, asked her what is her favorite Pokemon moment? She and she said that um, uh, her favorite Pokemon scene was the very beginning of that beginning of the show where Ash is late for whatever and all that too. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, rate with a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share, check out my social media down below me. <laughs> thank you guys a lot for watching. As always, thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you guys in a future video. Take it easy.